tonight the fall of the Jedi is at hand. We would be honored if you would join us. Hey everyone, so I'm first going to do a super brief backstory on events for all the newcomers to Star Wars who don't know as much as some of the veterans on the channel. In Revenge of the Sith, Order 66 was executed by Palpatine just after the demise of Mace Windu in the Chancellor's office. Immediately after this, Anakin Skywalker was granted the rank of Sith Lord and officially was known as Darth Vader. Join me. Following this was his very first mission to help seal his fate to the dark side. Palpatine ordered him to raid the Jedi Temple and to wipe out every single Jedi Master, Padawan, and Youngling that was there. To not hesitate and to show no mercy. Do not hesitate. Mercy. Anakin was backed by the 501st Legion of clone troopers. These were the best of the best of the clones, which says something in itself. They had been trained by Jango's methods to annihilate the Jedi, the perfect team to lead the raid upon the temple. Once Order 66 was given, it activated the inhibitor chips within the clones' brains that made them essentially wipe out any Jedi they saw, including all their generals from the Clone Wars. To the galaxy, Anakin was the poster boy of the Clone Wars, the hero that helped lead battalions to victory for the Republic with the clones. This leads to our question, how was Anakin so safe immediately after his turn if the clones were set to destroy all Jedi? That's what we'll answer in today's episode of Star Wars Theory. In the time of the Empire, not even Tarkin officially knew of Vader's true identity. He had an idea, but he didn't actually know. However, the 501st Legion did. They were trained not just for war, but for loyalty, and that battalion in particular was obedient to Anakin in the Clone Wars, and later, Vader during the Empire. Becoming known as Vader's Fist, this meant that they kept the confidentiality of Anakin's alter ego top classified information, seeing as how no one knew. This helps understand our answer. Now, while I can't say this answer is canon because Disney took control of what is and isn't, I'm still a firm believer that with the films, at least whatever Lucas said in the creation and storyline of them, at the time of their creation, is what should be cemented for them. So the answer here is a gray area and I think it's best if I leave it up to you to decide whether it's canon or legends. Either way, I've collected an answer for Palpatine executed Order 66 individually, as we can see. He contacted each squadron and battalion of clones on their respective missions and executed Order 66 for each. With the 501st Legion, he most likely would have told them to give their loyalty and full obedience to Lord Vader. The following scene is from Battlefront 2, the old one for the PlayStation, and it takes place just after a cinematic clip, which I've cropped for your timely convenience. Tonight the fall of the Jedi is at hand. We have been directed by the highest authority Do to it. wipe out the insurgent Jedi Order that threatens our great empire. Our first objective is to capture the Council Chamber. Lord Vader will be our field commander. Let's keep the Jedi low and move out. So as the commander speaks, we can see that he is speaking of Palpatine as the highest authority, directing them to wipe out the Jedi through Vader's command as their commander. I've checked the novels and any of the lore. After putting in my theory, I think this is the best answer for the question at hand. What do you think? Do you believe the 501st knew just who Anakin was, or were their minds completely clouded, just like they explain in to Kanan in Rebels? I always wondered how they didn't get confused and just fire on Anakin, thinking he was still a Jedi. Now it makes a little more sense. Let me know your thoughts below and I'll chime in. Thanks for watching everyone, I really appreciate it. I hope you're all having a great day or night, wherever you are in the galaxy, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's episode of Star Wars Theory. Until then, my fellow Jedi and Sith friends, remember, the Force will be with you.